their ball games as we are here at the Bulacan State Capital Gymnasium. My name is Andrico. Thank you for joining us uh, for this afternoon. Napakaganda na ating laro. Let's see if uh, the Lady Spartans can get into the winning column in this game or will the uh, Lady Sailors go up 3-2 to two as they want to improve upon their standings here in the Women's National Basketball League standings. Of course, we have the Tagig Lady Generals. Nasa taas sila ng ating standings at 4-0. Well, the Stan Quezon Lady Spartans, nga, they're at the bottom of our standings at 0 and 4. So, tingnan natin if they can climb up the standings uh, with this game as they need badly to get a win on the board. But, of course, um, these teams went uh, against each other in that first round. Of course, uh, going to the Lady Sailors, dominating that game. So, let's see if the Lady Spartans can do something different in this game. And in that first game on March 27, 2022, it was a... Uh, 65 to 56 win in favor of the Lady Sailors. Of course, uh, most of the statistics go in favor to the Lady Sailors. As you can see, the free throws, the rebounds, the assists, the turnovers, as well as the bench points was the difference in that game. 33 to 17. So, napakalaki nun. 16 points uh, difference coming off the bench for the Lady Sailors. So, let's see if they can do the same here and continue their rise up on their standings. And in that game, the main gun on offense para sa uh, Lady Sailors was Josephine Ong. She had 20 points, 8 out of the 12, very efficient from the field. 2 out of 4 from the 3-point arc with 2 steals. More than her averages, she just averages 9 points per game in uh, that first round. But of course, in that game, it was a standout game for Josephine Ong. So, let's see natin if she can play again up to that standard and give them, uh, give her team a great win this afternoon. But on the other we have Ann Misika Gandale who is fighting it through despite the struggle this season. She had a very good game there on par with her season averages so far. 12 points, 5 rebounds for uh, Ann Gandalia. Her averages for the first round, 10 points, 3.8 rebounds. So a bit better than her usual averages. But again, it can uh, go both ways in this game. So we're getting ready to play this ball game right now. So let's turn it over to our Barker for starting lineups. Good afternoon. It's nice to see you back here at Bulacan Provincial Capital Gym for another triple header. Let's start off with the history for women's basketball. Second round of elimination series of the WNBL ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. Here are the starters. First up, the Philippine Navy. Go for gold, ladies sailors. One guard, number 21, Joe Ong. Playing center, number 10, Janelle Mendoza. Small forward, number 8, Karen Lomogda. Shooting guard, number 6, Trixie Antequera. Power forward, number 0, Chobi Borja. The Philippine Navy go for gold. Lady Sailors is led by Emilia Vega. Now the starting five for Quezon. Lady Spartans. Power forward number 14, Nick Cancho. Small forward number 13, Kang Hortaleza. Coming in at center number 12, Kikai Gandalia. Starting at guard number eight, Jolina Go. And at point guard number one, Kat Araha. Quezon Lady Spartans head coach is Christine Irish Isip. Referees for this ball game are Alvin Sarmiento, Jason Bipinoso, and Romero. And here we go to starting lineups para sa Lady Sailors, Ong Antiquera, Mendoza, Lomoda, and Bora. And for the Lady Spartans, we have Jolina Go, Kat Araha, Gandalia, Cancho and Hortaleza as their starting unit here in our game uh, for today for the WNBL. Again, second round of basketball games for these teams. Will the Lady Spartans get a dub on the board or will the Lady Sailors pick up another one to put them above 500? But uh, our first possession of the ball game will go to the Lady Sailors as that sails out of bounds para sa Lady Spartans off of the tip. On with the basketball. Swings it around to Antiquera. Goes to the post. Baseline attack. Atmero foul Kagad. And that is a... Ooh, they call a out of bounds on the Lady Sailors stepping out of bounds. So good defense. Paris' Lady Spartans on their first possession. 
Araha nagbababa ng bola. Being defended by Ong. By the Spartans. Swing the ball around. They want to go down to Gandalia. Gets sealed off. Ortaleza with 8 seconds on the shot clock. Atake, fade away. Nice step back. Too strong. Lady Sailors pick up the board. Spartans late on defense. Open three. Doesn't go. Araha. Back to Hortaleza. You want to go down low. They get it to the post. Kancho steps out of bounds. So that is another turnover. So both teams struggling to start this ball game. Turnovers on both sides to start off the game. Ong swings it over. Lamogda wants the basketball. Ong gets the ball poked away. Spartans, no, loses the basketball. Ball will stay with the Lady Spartans. Foul is called on Ong. Good defense by Hortaleza. Stealing that ball away from Ong. Sideline inbounds game para sa Lady Spartans. Go. Thought about it. Picks the ball up. Nahanap si Hortaleza. Tancho with the screen. Hortaleza hands it off. Araha has to put it up. That is an air ball blocked. Five seconds on the shot clock. That shot is finally good for the Lady Spartans. Gandalia starts it off with a big three for the Lady Spartans. Sailor swinging it around. Spartans with some tight defense here to start the game. Find him in the corner. Naipet gets it down. Drop pass. Ooh, a foul is called. Everything was going great for the Lady Spartans. Still that reverse layup and foul is called right now on the Lady Spartans. So the ball will... That's going to be two free throws para sa Lady Sailors. Mora misses on the first free throw. So again, Lady Spartans still winless. 0 and 4 habang ang Lady Sailors. Philippine Navy Lady Sailors, 2 and 2. Misses both, pero they get the offensive rebound. Mora to the corner. Back down to the post. Ball movement, great para sa Lady Sailors. Just couldn't convert on the shot. Tumatakbo ngayon si Araha. Araha, all alone, pero nakahabol ng Lady Sailors. But that is good for Kat Araha. Good start para sa Lady Spartans now with a five-point lead. Lady Sailors. Ong. Swinging the ball around. Hand up sa post. Poposte, ikot, fade away. Finally goes in for the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. Mendoza with a beautiful fadeaway. Spartans now almost lost the basketball. Hortaleza, nagahanap ng papapasahan. Inside, good layup. Na block lang dun si Cancho. Ong, too strong on that pass. Hindi ready dun. Ang kakampiriya. So the ball will go back to the Lady Spartans. They catch a break. This is the move by Mendoza. Powerful move, steps back, uses that fadeaway, gets the ball. The friendly bounce to go in. Hortaleza again, in and out dribble, loses it. Ball will stay with the Lady Spartans, the referees are saying. Hortaleza steps out of the ball game. Lady Spartans still up early here in the first quarter, 5-2. to two. Go. No hesitation. Misses on that three. That was in line, just too short. Rebound ngayon ni Ong. Ong, look at that speed. Drops it off. That is good. Para kay Mendoza. 
That was Ong pushing the pace. Finding her teammate running on the wings. Gets it. Easy shot para sa Lady Sailors. And Dalia catches it pretty far from the post. Let's see what she'll do. Swings it. Cancho. Nice fake. Cancho open. Too short lang sa kanin tira. Sparta's getting the shots that they want. Just can't convert while... Uh, Lady Sailors trying to take the lead now in this possession. Ong open. Nice fake on that pass. Misses on the shot. Rebound ngayon ni Gundalia. Lady Spartans setting it up. Araha. Calling out a play. Asking for the teammate to grab the basketball. Cancho gets it. Cancho with a handoff. Mer hesitation drive. Kicks it out. Araha again. Araha. Gundalia open three. No rebound by Mendoza. One shot, one rebound for uh, Lady Spartans. Not getting any second chance opportunities. Babawi na mga Lady Sailors with a chance to take the lead. Mendoza short arms this one this time. Araha, makakakuha ng bola. Tumatakbo ngayon. Lady Spartans, Bebelo, si Araha, nabitaw ng bola, but a foul is called in Ong. And this was the play by Ong and this Gatorade fast break blast is brought to you by Gatorade. Nothing beats Gatorade. Beautiful move by Ong, pushing the pace, beating the defense, and gets it to her teammate for an easy layup. Mer calls out the play. Ooh, overpasses it. Kancho wasn't ready for it. Bad pass. But they almost get it back. No, Lady Sailors recover. The outside, no. Rebound goes to Araha. Smallest play in the court gets that basketball. Araha loses it. Finds Gandalia. Gandalia, nobody guarding her. Just goes through the defense, powers it through. Strong move by Gandalia. The Lady Sparta still with the three point lead, halfway point of our uh, first quarter. Mier, they're swinging the ball around. Short jump shot, doesn't go. Battle for the Roos ball. That ball will go to the Lady Spartans. Good defense again by the Lady Spartans. This is Gandalia. Really powering through Mendoza, goes through. Instead of around Mendoza, gets that shot to go. Seeing a baller out. Go. Look at that. Quick trigger. Gets that shot to go. Jolina go. Beautiful looking jump shot. Swishes it through. Seeing a ball around. Lady Sailors. Inside. Wala pa rin. Rebound goes to the Lady Spartans. And they had a sky high for that one. Dalia attacking, takes it out. Valenzuela swings it to go. Go now being guarded after that jump shot. Go, look at that desperation shot. Almost got it to go anyway. This was the shot by Go. Good crossover. Steps back. No hesitation. Quick trigger. Jolina Go with a three. Ooh, bad pass. Good defense by the Lady Spartans. They get it. Valenzuela, two on two fast break. Pushing it the ball down. Inside. At the Bauga foul. And that counts. Para kay Mier, our referees say that counts. So basket is good. Plus the foul. Para sa Lady Spartans. Oh, that gets hit. Just put it up there. Sumabit pa yung kamay talaga dun. So that is definitely a foul. While Mier will go to the free throw line for one shot. Ooh, they're rescinding it, so our referees are saying it doesn't count. 
So it's just a sideline inbound. We got it from Pao Pasahan. Mir on the last second gets it to Hortaleza. Hortaleza all the way. That is good for the Lady Spartans. The Lady Spartans can't ask for a better start to this game as they've already lost four and haven't won yet. Lamang sila ng walo earlier, early on in this game. Valenzuela nakakuha pa ng steal. Valenzuela tatakbo, fake. Passes it, Hortaleza, open jump shot. Wala, rebound. Goes to the Lady Sailors. Lady Sailors forcing the issue. Everybody runs a 17. The worst part is if you miss it, they run, you watch. WNBL ambassador, welcome Kat Dan, as uh, she's called the one arm mamba. As you can see, her video with the late great Kobe Bryant draining that long three. And she was part of the P uh, WNBL 3x3 last weekend, so it's great to officially welcome her as our newest WNBL ambassador and inspiration to women athletes out there. Kat Dan, very well deserved. The Spartans come out of that timeout with a full court defense. And they get the block. Plus, no, they don't get the basketball back. So Lady Sailors still have it. Lady Sailors now trying to muscle inside. Third over. Mulasa Lady Sailors. So Babalik ang bola ngayon sa Lady Spartans. Who have a nine point lead, 15 to six with 2.15 remaining here in the first quarter. Mayara swinging the ball around to Hortaleza. They're letting it fly from the outside. Battle for the loose ball. Will stay with the Lady Spartans. Hortaleza go inside. Ball swing. Mayara, nice pass inside. Ball movement. The Sailors one and done. Rebound. Valenzuela, Asalabas. One second to shoot. Not a lot of time left. Hortaleza puts it up. Backs it off! What a shot by Fortaleza! Dream start for the Lady Spartans. As they're now up by double digits, 19 to 6. Libre ngayon na Lady Sailor Salob. Finally gets a shot to go. Borja cuts that lead down to 11. 38 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Raja to Valenzuela. Sangalang. High defense right now. Hortaleza Olet. She's been the woman so far para sa Lady Spartans. Hot start. Hortaleza looks to continue. No. Rebound goes to the Lady Sailors. Good steal by Valenzuela. Valenzuela for a three. No, that is short. They had a lot of time. Too early on the shot clock para kay Valenzuela. Ong swings it out. Open three-point shot. Lady Sailors. No, again. Rebound goes to the Lady Spartans. Hortaleza just holds it to end the first quarter. And the Lady Spartans with a big surprising lead to start this ball game as they lead it by 11 points, 90 to 8. As you see some uh, highlights of our uh, WNBL season so far. Great basketball, great women basketball has been played dito sa ating uh, conference ng ating WNBL season 2022. Magbabalik po tayo as the Lady Spartans lead it 19 to 8.
And we see some stats from Kat Araha, who's always the consistent leader para sa Lady Spartans. 10 points, 6 rebounds against the Lady Sailors. 3 assists in line with their averages for the first round. 10 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 2.5 assists for Kat Araha. But they've started off really great dito sa ating uh, larong ito. 19 to 8, if you're a fan of the Lady Spartans, this might be the chance that they're looking for to get a win on the board as they are, they're winless so far this conference or this season. So, naghahanap sila ng panalo dito sa ating second round. Pero ito, Lady Sailors, syempre gusto nila tumakas ulit sa ating standings. They stand up 2 and 2. And we're gonna start right now our second quarter. Bundia in the ball game para sa Lady Spartans. Fortaleza almost loses it. Double team kagat inabot niya doon. Fortaleza, floater, in and out. That was halfway in for Fortaleza. And ball goes out of bounds. So ball right now is with the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. As in that first quarter, Fortaleza doing damage, six points, while Candali had eight points naman para sa Lady Spartans, and four points naman para kay Mendoza for the Lady Sailors. Pero babawi sila, Mendoza again. And there's six points of the ball game, cutting that lead back down to single digits. Fortaleza, hindi nakita si Bondia. Looking for Araha, handoff. Ong chasing down Araha. Good move. Araha to Fortaleza, open. Three-point shot, no. Too strong, rebound goes to the Lady Sailors. Ball being swung around, quick three. Lady Sailors, babawi ngayon. Big three for the Lady Sailors. Arayi, no hesitation, open. Walang bumantay sa kanya. As you can see here, this is the first shot. This was uh, Mendoza cutting that lead down to single digits. At si Arayi naman, babawi. Back-to-back -back shots, back-to-back -back hits. Barsa Lady Sailors cutting down that lead down to six. For me, masaya, masarap, masarap pakinggan pag na, masarap sa feeling. And yung pakinggan yung puso ko na makita yung mga bata na natututo, lumalaban, dahil may gusto silang patunayan. Hindi sa sarili nila eh. Kasi ito, itong team na hawak ko, pinapakita nila na lumalaban sila para sa isa't isa. Okay, common. Pero lahat ng galaw nila sa court, base yun sa relationship nila sa isa't isa. So yun yung, yun, kaya nandito ako instead of maglaro, kasi yun yung iba yung pakiramdam eh, na nakikita mo yung mga players mo na naniniwala sa'yo at naniniwala sa bawat teammates nila. Ay, yun, yung feeling na goosebumps ba? Yun yung nafe-feel ko every time na nandito ako. <laughs> and we heard from Iris Isip, the head coach of the Lady Spartans. Of course, very proud sa kanyang mga players as uh, they all play for each other at kita-kita naman natin so far nagbubunga yan ngayon dito sa ating laro as they're up by 6 points here in the second quarter pero uh, Lady Sailors sumusubok makahabol as they've managed to get some stops on uh, the Lady Spartans and they've cut this lead down to 6. Raki again Lady Sailors short this time, rebound mapupunta kay Araha Ooh, 5 on 4 fast break go Passes it to Bindia inside. Bindia fumbles the basketball. Bindia atake. Forces it up. Doesn't go. Valenzuela gets blocked at the rim. Ball will stay with the Lady Sailors. With 13 seconds on the shot clock. This is the offensive rebound by Valenzuela. Pero supalpal inabot niya dun sa loob. Kay Mendoza. But they will maintain possession. Go. Nice fake. Floater. Too strong for Jolina. Go. Cross court pass. That looks too strong. Good steal right now by Go. 
Spartans, quarter again by Go. This time almost gets that one to roll in. Araja recovers. That is good for the Salini Spartans. Lady Sailors from three. No. Mendoza batting for that rebound. Makukuha nila ulit. Ong to Arayi. She made one earlier. Wala ngayon. Offensive rebound na naman para sa Lady Sailors. Ball on the floor. Lady Sailors still have it. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Atake na sila ngayon. Inside. Good fake. That goes in. Fourth time is the charm. Para sa Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. Bandia to Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Ooh, in and out. Sorry, miss for Valenzuela. Lady Sailors ngayon. Arayi, atake, sidestep. Gets blocked. Good defense by Sangalang. Ball will go to the Lady Sailors. Players being subbed in right now para sa Lady Sailors at Lady Spartans. Ball being brought back down. Mier, natapik ang bola. Casual with it. Loses it. Lady Sailors come up with a steal. There's a foul called. Lady Sailors will maintain possession. being swung around right now. Three-point shot. Lady Sailors, wala pa rin. Nice rebound right now para sa Lady Spartans. Araha, atake. Araha gets blocked by Mendoza again. Still no go para sa Lady Sailors. At tingnan natin, both teams starting to miss now. Halfway point of the second quarter. So tingnan natin, who will get some points on the board first? Jolina Go forcing the issue, taps the ball out. At uh, that ball will go, will stay with the Lady Spartans. Inbounded right now para sa Lady Spartans. And we have a wet spot on the floor. Tingnan natin. Our referees are just uh, making sure na walang madulas sa floor. So let's see. Yeah, inside. Go open. She made one earlier. Short this time. Go struggling from the field right now. Inside. Lady Sailors. Akuadon plus the foul. Mendoza. Gets that one to go plus the foul. Does a nice give and go, passes it inside to the post, immediately cuts inside, draws the foul, and Lady Sailors are coming back into this ball game. They're now down by just four. At uh, pwede pa nilang ibaba dito ang kalamangan. Completes the three-point play, tatlo na lang ang kalamangan ng Lady Spartans. Nag sila hanap ng opensa. Fortaleza, nabitawan pa ang bola. She needs to get it across half court. Ball hits the leg of Lomogda particularly well. Pero si Mendoza nga, dominating so far dito sa loob. Down 
to a one-point lead. Inside, that is good. Good shot. Para ka Gandalia, who drains that basket plus the foul. This was the Lady Sailors on that other end. Really good passing inside, frees up Mendoza, who's really just placing herself in good position down below. But Gandalia strikes back on the other end. Basket plus the foul, completes the three point play. The Lady Spartans needed that one as uh, the Lady Sailors were creeping slowly back into this game. Rebounding totals, Lady Sailors, lamang na isa, 21 to 20 against the Lady Spartans. So the Lady Spartans doing very well right now to keep this thing close. Lady Sailors passes the ball inside again. No, good defense right now para sa Spartas. Tumatak mo si Hortaleza ahead of the pack. Hortaleza all the way overshoots that layup. What a miss by Hortaleza. Again inside, tapi ka ng bola. Mapuputa kay Valenzuela, but Valenzuela is up against three sailors. As our turnover story, dito lumalamang talaga Lady Spartans. Nine na para sa Lady Sailors at apat pa lang para sa Lady Spartans. Pero speaking of third overs, Hortaleza loses the ball easily ah, para sa Lady Sailors. Hortaleza seems like she's a bit fatigued. Siya nagbababa ng bola and she's been trying to score. So she's been losing the basketball on possessions right now. Cancho. Again, another turnover. Points off of third overs. Nueve na para sa Lady Spartans. Two pa lang sa Lady Sailors. But again, Lady Sailors converting on the other hand, and right now another third over for the Lady Spartans. This is Tonko, nice steal. It was easy layup for the Lady Sailors, cutting that lead down to two. Sailors will uh, maintain possession in this game. Inside. Three point shot for the lead by the Lady Sailors. What a comeback right now by the Lady Sailors. They were down by 13. Lamang na sila ngayon ang isa. Lady Spartans na mga yon. Nagahanap na opensa. Bad pass again. Cancho with a back to back turnovers para sa Lady Spartans. And the Lady Spartans right now having a hard time on offense. This was the big three para sa Lady Sailors to put them up one. And what a run here para sa Lady Sailors creeping back into this ballgame dito sa second quarter after being down double digits. Pero mahaba pa rin ang ating laro. Uh, Lady Sailor, susubukan. Uh, siguro, very proud ako dahil yung talent ko na nakuha sa national team, kapag na si share ko din. Tsaka naging part din ako ng UAP player. Uh, sa ngayon po, uh, masaya-masaya kasi nagkaroon po ng, ano, ng commercial league ng, ba ng basketball. Kung baga, after ng UAP nila, may, may pagpatuloy pa rin nila yung paglalaro na sana sa women's basketball. Tapos, pr very proud din ako kasi 80% na naging product ko sa Adamson, nandito lahat sa, nasyon, ah, sa, ano, sa WNBN naglalaro. Air Force, Army, cha Navy. I see Coach Emilia Vega right now. Happy sa pinapakita ng Lady Sailors as uh, nakakuha na naman sila na isa na namang steal. Lady Sailors up by three now. Big run here para sa Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. Definitely making Coach Vega happy. Sabi nga niya, karamihan ang kanyang mga players naglalaro dito sa WNBL. A testament to her coaching capabilities. Pero ito na naman, pupukpuk ulit ang Lady Sailors sa loob. This time, a stop para sa Lady Spartans. 
points this quarter. 19 na para sa Lady Sailors. 5 pa lang para sa Lady Spartan. So let's see where the Spartans, saan ba sila uhugot ng opensa? 1 minute 35 remaining here in the first, oh, in the second quarter, in the first half. At natapik na naman. The Lady Sailors now using their big size inside to dominate the paint and the boards. Rebounding story, medyo dikit pa rin. 24-23 in favor ng uh, Lady Sailors. Pero opensa nga, 19 na dito sa quarter na to. Ang uh, Lady Sailors, lima pa lang ang ginagawa ng Lady Spartans. Medyo napako sila sa opensa. Gandalia, titira ng tres. Wala, rebound ulit. Mapupunta sa Lady Spartans. Hindi, jump ball ang tatawagin ng ating referee. So again, the Lady Spartans and Lady Sailors looking to go up the standing. Spartans agahanap ng kanilang unang panalo dito sa ating season na to. Second round na po tayo. Mabola, mapupunta sa Lady Sailors. Pero natapik na Valenzuela. That looks like the third steal of uh, Valenzuela. And they get the ball back. Valenzuela. Handling the basketball. Ito to Gandalia. Stack inside. Gandalia, everything but the shot. Mokuwa nila ulit. Put back. Still no goal para sa Lady Spartans. Lid is close, but they get the ball back again. Yeah. Kas. A long three-point shot is good para sa Lady Sailors. Tonko showing us the range. It's a 22-5 quarter in favor of the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. Raha to Valenzuela. Bukas sa tres. Babawi na naman si Valenzuela sa tres. Much needed three-pointer para sa Lady Spartans. Pero ito na naman, Lady Sailors. Almost got that one to go. Valenzuela, tumatakbo. Good ball movement. Ball handling, I mean, kay Valenzuela. Nahanap sa loob si Gandalia. Perfect fast break para sa Lady Spartans. But Gandalia comes up hobbling after that one. And uh, Mendoza makes them pay. Gandalia looks to be okay, pero medyo may niinda pa rin siya. Binato na lang. Araha, no! And that is the end of the second quarter as the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors come roaring back in that quarter after being down by 13 points. Sing na natin ang mga highlights sila doon as they outscored the Lady Spartans 24-10 to 10 in that second quarter off of easy shots like this inside to Mendoza while the Lady Spartans only uh, scored uh, 4 out of 20 from the field in that quarter at uh, Nabaliktad na ang ating storya dito sa ating first half. Lamang na ngayon ang Philippine Navy Lady Sailors against the Stan Quezon Lady Spartans, 32-29. to Kapil Bin, still with a lot of energy! Look at this. Look at the energy of Chak Kabin Bin. Woo! She's so fast, even in slow motion. Air Force. Shot clock down to five. Oh, fancy shot! Wow! Put that on our highlight reel. Look at that again. Look at this uh, circus shot by Air Force. Another angle. Wow! Both teams trying to get the first bucket in the second half. Borja! What a shot! Reverse layup. Almost like a no-look shot. A steal! Completed by Kamin Bin. Kamin Bin! We'll take it strong for the two points!
Hot start in that first quarter, go with a quick trigger from the outside from three, even building a 13 point lead at one point and leading by 11 at the end of one. But in the second quarter, Binalik Tadaman ng Lady Sailors ang Cuento as they dominated that quarter. Arayi with a big three to start us off. At uh, napakaganda mga pasa inside the Mendoza as the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors really pounding the ball inside to get those easy baskets to cut that lead down, down and uh, take the lead by three during halftime and her stats so far 14 out of 36 para sa Lady Sailors 12 of 24 para sa Lady Spartans mas maraming assists ang Lady Sailors 10 to 7 pero yun nga yung points in the paint plus the bench points is the story so far the Lady Sailors dominating inside in the paint and of course led by their bench with 15 points Janelle Mendoza 13 as well as Anne Gandalia sa kabila naman 13 ren pero again it was everybody else para sa Lady Sailors Tonko with 5 Borja with 4 Mateo with 3 Fortaleza naman with 6, Araha with 4, and Jade Valenzuela with 3 para sa Lady Spartans. But again, tight game we have for you guys here. Game of runs so far. 
Grand ng uh, first quarter, Lady Spartans dito sa second quarter. Lady Sailors naman uh, have a run of their own as they're down by three. And we gotta talk about this. This is very interesting, guys. Ang ating uh, National Basketball League or NBL Youth upcoming para sa inyo, guys. So, sa mga bata dyan, of course, a lot of our kids, a lot of the kids right now want to uh, go back to playing really good organized basketball. And it is coming here sa NBL this April 22, NBL Youth. Abang-abangan natin yan, guys. It's going to be an exciting development. Dito lang yan sa tahanan ng tunay na homegrown, which is the NBL. Pero balik muna tayo sa ating mga kababaiyan as we start the second half here on the WNBL as Hortaleza gets a basketball and the Lady Spartans first crack at it here sa ating third quarter. Araha, bumali sa ere, gets that shot to go. being swung around. Mendoza. She had a hot start. 13 points sa para kay Mendoza. At uh, sinawagan na foul doon. Si Kanjo pushing Mendoza out of the way. So that is the first foul of the Lady Spartan. This is Araha taking matters to it for her own hands. Banks that shot in. 32-31. Araha already with 6.6 .6 rebounds and 3 assists in this ball game. Tequera, masyado malakas ang pasa, pero may foul muna kay Go. Oh, it was Cancho again being called for that foul. So that is the third foul of Cancho. Tongko. It's ito Ong. Lady Sailors, easy shot para kay Borja. Backward violation para sa Lady Spartans. Unforced error para kay Gandalia who stopped midway in the half court to give the ball to Araha. So again, unforced error yan para sa Lady Spartans. This is Mendoza being pushed out of the way by Cancho. Nothing intentional there. Just lost her balance after that soft touch by Cancho. Inside to that, Borja. Ooh, finds Mendoza cutting inside. Mendoza just couldn't get the shot to go. Tumatakbo ngayon si Araha. Go. Inside. Matik na mastil at nakuha nga yan ng uh, Lady Sailors. But the ball will go to the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. Araha. Pinasa kay Cancho. Gandalia. Lady Sailor. Lady Spartans, I mean. Having a tough time swinging the ball around. Ara has to force this one up. Air ball recovered by Hortaleza. At uh, shot clock violation yan. Para sa Lady Spartans. This is a drive by Araha. Finding a cutting. Cancho. For an easy shot down low. Pero si Tonko nga all the way. Wala nakabantay sa kanya. Kitang kita niya. Wala nakabantay. Smooth. Smooth sailing for Tonko. Mendoza swinging the ball around back to Tonko. Mendoza inside again. Great play for some sailors. That was Ong setting a good screen to free up. Mendoza, Hortaleza naman, supalpal ulit ang inabot sa loob. Gandalia to go. Go loses it. And the ball will go back to the Lady Sailors. 38-33. As you can see, that was a great screen, off-ball screen to free up a cutting. Mendoza inside. Mendoza ulit. Balik kay Tonko. Back to the Lady Sailors for three. No. Rebound. They will maintain possession pero tumama sa paan ni Tonko. Ooh, they're saying it's off of goal. That might have hit the 
leg of Tongo. But the referees are saying it will go back to the Lady Sailors. Tingnan natin ulit ang replay. Go and Tongo going for the basketball. Go tips it. Ooh, it hits the foot of Go. So great replay there. Ong ulit, atake, sumabit, nakakuha ng foul. Araha gets called for her first foul and we have a timeout called on the floor as the Lady Sailors building upon this lead. Lumaki na ang kanilang kalamangan, 38-33. After the ball game, as you see some highlights from Mendoza leading the way so far para dito sa Lady Sailors. Really just a dominating presence down low. Nice touch, soft touch sa kanyang mga layup at uh, dominating the smaller Spartan so far. Lady Spartans naman naghahanap ng opensa. Let's see. General Mendoza already with 15 points, 3 rebounds, 2 blocks, 7 out of 9 from the field. So very efficient game para kay Janel Mendoza at itadagdagan pa ni Ong at the line ng kanilang kalamangan. First free throw for Ong sails in. Second free throw, pasok pa rin. Araha, trying to battle through this double team, gets it to Hortaleza. Fortaleza forcing the issue. Naibit gets it inside. Gandalia. Gandalia falls to the floor. Draws the foul. Gandalia will go to the free throw line. First free throw too strong for Gandalia. As you see. Coach of the Lady Spartans. Of course, very concerned after giving up that double digit lead. Down na sila ngayon by 6, 40 to 34. Pero marami pa rin tayo ora, 618 to go here in the third quarter. So, still a lot of time for Lady Spartans to mount a comeback in this game. But the Lady Sailors look like they're uh, getting into their own pace right now, finding consistent offense. Mendoza gets triple team. Open Ong. First. Not letting this defense set up. Unang una doon si Tequera at uh, may kasama pa yung foul mula kay Gandalia. Is good for Antiquera completes a three point play, nine point ball game, 34 43 in favor of uh, the Lady Sailors. Valenzuela, Hinanap si Araha. Araha puts it up, too strong. Araha fouls afterwards, so again, Lady Sparta not getting good shots up. Sangalang comes in for Cacho. Baby Sailors open na naman. Mula sa labas. Almost gets it a go. Again, another offensive rebound. Sangalang finally secures the rebound para sa Lady Spartans. But again, rebounding game almost equal by uh, both of these teams. 30 lamang pa rin nga ang Lady Spartans. A rebound team, 30 to 29. What we don't see in the stats is the Lady Sailors have more offensive rebounds in this ball game as uh, they've got multiple possessions so far. Lady Spartans finds Araha. Araha 
to Valenzuela. Valenzuela drops it off. Back to Araja. And Dalia for three. That is good para sa Lady Spartans. 43 to 37. Anin na lang kalamangan ng Lady Sailors. Lady Spartans with a big three. Tongko to Ong. Ong binabantay ni Mer. Back to Tongko for three. Babawi na naman. Lady Sailors on the other end with a three. Araha. Trying to keep her th team afloat, but that is an offensive foul on Gandalia on the screen. And this was Araha kicking it out to Gandalia. Gandalia swishes that home well, on the other end with a hand in her face. Tonko doesn't matter. Drains her 0 3 to push that lead back up to 9. Tonko. Tambola. Three point again. Almost manages to roll in para sa Lady Sailors, pero nakuha na Lady Sparta siya. Valenzuela, tumatak mo ngayon. Valenzuela all the way over the bigger defender. Gets that layup to go. No fear mula kay Jade Valenzuela. Good steal para kay Araha. Tumatak mo ngayon ang Lady Spartans. Araha setting up the offense. Araha passing for that screen. Loses the basketball. Saves it. No. Rebound to Tonko. Tonko tomatakbo ngayon. Behind the back move. Gets it to Lomogda. Swings it out to Ong. Back to Tonko. 48 41. 2 15 remaining here. Nanako ni Araha ulit. Valenzuela all alone. Magisa siya. Valenzuela loses the basketball. Missed opportunity na naman para sa Lady Spartans as they can't get that easy shot to go. Natanggal pa sapatos si Jade Valenzuela dun sa play na yun. But we have a timeout called on the floor as the Lady Sailors dodge the bullet. The score is 48 to 41 in favor of the Philippine Navy. Trying to come back into this ball game. They're down by seven. Very Lady Sailors stopping every run so far, holding them at bay. Another steal, Moraz Spartans. Multiple steals right now for the Lady Spartans. They're trying to take advantage. Finally, Araha, nice pass inside Kaimir. So good defense, Moraz Spartans right now, forcing a couple of turnovers, Moraz Lady Sailors. Mendoza, hinihingi sa loob. Takes it out. Tonko, nice pass na naman sa loob. Another open shot para sa Lady Sailors. Every time the Spartans get the basket, nababawi na Lady Sailors. Sangka lang with the screen. Araha, pulls up from three. In and out, sangka lang, rebound. Sangka lang, naipit. Kick it out. Mir, babalik. Mir, naipit. Gets the bucket. Referees are saying it doesn't count. The foul is on the floor. This was the great passing. Araha again, another pass down low. This time to Mir. Great that basket. Venezuela, 14 seconds on the shot clock para sa Lady Spartans. Binigay kay Mer. Mer, sumaksak. Bad pass. Lady Sailors get the basketball. Ong. Open from the outside. Too strong for pass inside. And first errors from both teams. 
Buen día. So Araja, Araja. With the basketball again. Hands it off to Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Back to Araja. These guys have been holding the ball for the Lady Spartans. Araja. Ikutan ang buong depensa. Kick out to Valenzuela. Open three. No. On again. Para sa Lady Sailors. 34 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Open shot from the outside. Short. Batter for the rebound. Babalik pa rin sa Lady Sailors. Borja. No. Rebound by Araja. Twenty seconds remaining. Down seven on Lady Spartans. They need a way to score. Valenzuela. Using the screen of Sangalang. Pinagay Araha. Araha from the outside. No. Ball goes out of bounds with 7.7 .7 seconds remaining. Referee says Spartans basketballs. And we have a timeout called on the floor as the Spartans want to talk things over as uh, they get one last crack at this before the quarter ends. Seven, six out of 11 from the field. Very efficient, but already has four fouls in this game, so she has to watch out for that one. But again. Lady Spartans has 7.7 .7 seconds remaining in this game as we have a foul first. Mulaki Mateo. Bobby passed inside. Sangalang has to put it up. Four seconds remaining. Valenzuela, mutik pong mabitaw ng bola. Valenzuela with a hesitation move plus the layup. Much needed basket mula sa Lady Spartans as they leave 1.6 second, 1 seconds on the clock para sa Lady Sailors. Ibabato na lang ba ni Ongto? No time left and that is it for the third quarter as the Lady Sailors maintain the lead. 50 to 45. As you see this move, Sangalang finds that pass. Valenzuela almost fumbles it. Nice fake. Finds a way to get that layup to go to cut that lead down to 5, 50 to 45 in favor of the Lady Sailors. As you see, the NBL Youth National Basketball League Youth will see simula na yan soon. So abang abang natin na para sa ating mga kabataan na uh, uh, I'm sure itching to go back to playing basketball at. Uh, Napaka-exciting na to para sa NBL family at magsisimula na muli ang NBL Youth this coming April 22. As you see, of course, the coaches of the Quezon Ladies Spartans, former UP Maroon, Paolo Romero, one of the coaches of uh, the Ladies Spartans on screen. And you can see that the Ladies Spartans slowly but surely getting better in this uh, season. But again, they still need to put wins on the board 0 and 4 na sila they have one quarter to do that dito sa larong ito as they're still down by 5 contra ang lady sailors as you see are scoring per quarter 90 to 8 in favor of the lady spartans in that first 24 to 10 for the lady sailors at pagdating sa third quarter 18 to 15 so di kita pa rin ang laro ngayon sa third quarter as we still the, still have a 5 point ball game here lady sailors now controlling the pace, gets it to Tonko. Tonko inside, Mendoza thought about it. Good move, Mendoza, nowhere to go. Stolen by Valenzuela, Valenzuela active hands. Picks up the ball, gets it to Sangalang. Swings it to Araja. And Dalia, shoots from the outside. Gets fouled this time from the three. He'll shoot three shots. Viewing the 
play if it definitely was a foul on the three. So tignan natin what the referees will decision, the decision of the referees rather. It was called a Mendoza off of that three-point shot by Candalia. Tignan natin kung ano itatawag the referee dito. Tinitignan nila. They say it was a foul on the closeout. At yung paanga ni Mendoza was there. Natapakan ni Candalia. And they're calling an unsportsmanlike foul actually on uh, Mendoza. So that's a big call. And again, they have to call that close in games right now. We don't want uh, players getting injured. And that time, definitely, yung paa ni Mendoza nandun sa ilalim ni uh, Gandalia when she shot that or when she was landing from that three-pointer, alam natin, you have to create some space uh, for the player to land on that jump shot, especially pag up and down line, tinalag ng player na yun. So we know a couple of players jump to the front, pero si Gandalia, up and down lang, nagdun pa rin yung paa ni Mendoza, automatically tatawagan nila yan ng unsportsmanlike foul. And again, this might be a big blow for the Lady Sailors, and this might be the chance that the Lady Spartans have been looking for to cut into this lead and take it as uh, Mendoza has been dominating down low so far para sa Lady Sailors. Uh, tingnan natin if the Lady Spartans will take advantage of this opportunity na binigay sila ngayon. Gandalia, one out of three. Misses two free throws. Crucial shots missed by Gandalia. Valenzuela finding somebody to pass the ball to finds Hortaleza Hortaleza was hot in the first quarter medyo natahimik na siya since then Hortaleza gets a triple team Gandalia from the outside misses, batter for the rebound the Lady Sailors get the basketball Ong against Gandalia ooh, scoops it under easy shot for Ong what a shot by Ong. Sanggalang, mag-isa sa loob. Sanggalang, babawi para sa Lady Spartans. 53-48. Borja. Senyo sa loob. In the middle, Borja gets it. Inside ulit. Natapik ang bola. Senyo, pipilitin. Ball gets tapped away. We'll go to the Lady Spartans. This was the drive by Ong. Nice move. Uses the offhand to get that layup to go. Let's take another angle at it. What a shot by Ong. Lady Spartans trying to cut into this lead. Fortaleza, binigay kay Gandalia. Sanggalang. Back to Gandalia. Araha, five seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out, Hortaleza, doesn't she realize it? Puts it up, doesn't go. Lady Sailors bringing the ball down. Antiquera. Swings the ball around, Tonko from the outside, no. Araha, easy rebound. Araha, two-step, no, too strong on the layup. Tonko leaves it up for Bora. Bora all the way. What a beautiful pass, Mulaki Tonko. That is your fifth pass of the ball game. 13 points and five assists so far for Tonko. Outside shot, draws air para kay Hortaleza. This is the fast break. Tonko with eyes on the back of her head. Just drops that off to Borja who knows what to do there. That basketball pushes that lead back up to seven. Ong, nice hesitation. Drive, pass inside. Senyo couldn't handle it. And we have a foul called on Senyo. So the Lady Spartans will get the ball back. See 
display. Ong, nice pass, nice uh, idea, but Senyo couldn't handle that basketball and just forces to foul, uh, just forced to foul the Lady Spartans to stop that fast break from happening. Go back in the ball game para sa Lady Spartans. Pinagay came here. Gandalia looking for go. Back to Hortaleza. Hortaleza, Buebuelo. Hortaleza crossover down to Sangalang. Sangalang, five seconds remaining. Gandalia from the outside. Another air ball para sa Lady Spartans. Rai, back into the ball game. Borja inside. And it's Tonko. Back to Borja. Borja gets double teamed. Out of bounds. Ball will stay with the Lady Sailors. 55 to 48. 616 remaining. Dito sa ating fourth quarter. Nine seconds on the shot clock para sa Lady Sailors. Inside, that's another shot. Olinde gets her first bucket to go. Nice play off of that inbounds by the Lady Sailors. Mier gets the ball stolen by Tonko. Tonko putting on the moves. Nice pass. Nabitaw ng bola. Bao mamuta kay Sangalang. It's a good defense para sa Spartans. Tonko trying to be, be a bit too fancy on that play. Sangalang. Puts a ball on the floor. Picks it out to Hortaleza. Hortaleza. Nabitaw ang pangang bola. And we have a lot, loose ball foul. Hold on that play. Hortaleza gets called for that foul. This was the inbounds play para kay Pauline Day. Who knows what to do with that one. Napakadali. Para kay Pauline Day. And... Somebody on the floor on the side of uh, the Lady Spartans. Asimier shaking up on that play, holding on to her right ankle. Tingnan natin if she's okay. Oh, with 5.35 to go here in the fourth, Lady Sailors in control. Similar to what happened in the first game, lamang ng nine ng kapanaluhan ng uh, Lady Sailors ng game na yun. Polinde inside. Great post move. Double digit lead right now para sa Lady Sailors. Hortaleza. Tukancho. Inside. No go. Lady Sailors, good defense, towering defense so far, in control. Ong to Tonko, Tonko atake, baseline, baseline drive is good for Tonko. What a play by Tonko to give them a 13-point lead. The Lady Spartans having a tough time guarding Tonko as she already has 15 points on the board. 17 points rather with 5 rebounds and 2 assists. Tonko leading the way para sa Lady Sailors. Magbabalik po tayo dito sa WNBL. After the ball game is the Lady Sailors. Lamang sila na 13 points, 61 to 48 against the Lady Spartans. And led by Tonko with 17 points in this ball game, just dominating, slicing and dicing through the defense ng uh, Lady Spartans, leading the comeback. If you guys have just joined us, uh, kung kasasali nyo lang dito sa ating uh, live feed on uh, Facebook and on Solar, alam naman natin na. The Lady Spartans were up by 13 points early on in that game. Maristonko 
has 21 points in this game. Sorry, correction on the, the totals. It's not 12 points. It's 21 points in this game for Marie Stonko along with five assists. So she's already poured, again, a lot of points in this game. Fortaleza, Babawe, sa kabila, wala para sa Lady Spartans. Desperation time right now para sa Lady Spartans to put points on the board with 4.42 remaining. At nakakuha sila ng stop dito. But again, Maris Tonko. What a great game so far for Tonko. This was Mateo getting called for that foul, diving to the floor. Ooh, good thing. Oh, he, she does actually fall on the foot of Gandalia. Gandalia taking a lot of damage in this game. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Valenzuela to Hortaleza. Gandalia thought about it. Gandalia puts the ball on the floor. Nabitawa ng bola, battle for the loose ball. The referees are calling a jump ball. Jump ball between Ong and Hortaleza. Ball will go to Polinde. Good tap by Ong. Arai way downtown. No rebound by Hortaleza. Gets it to Valenzuela. Valenzuela against Ong. To Araha. Araha hangs in the air. Still no go. Rebound by Polinde. Polinde loses the basketball. We'll go back to the Lady Spartans. Spartans. Fortaleza, walang mapasahan. Has to kick it out to the outside. Gandalia, back to Venezuela. Araha. Spartans, swing the ball around. Venezuela attacke floater doesn't go. Battle for the loose ball. Referee say Sailors basketball. Lady Sailors bring the ball in. Ooh, they lose it. Easy shot goes in for the Spartans. They needed that one. Fortaleza, good defense and steal. Again, look at this defense by the Spartans. They get another stop. Putback is good. Back-to-back -back hits para sa Spartans, keeping them alive. Nine-point ball game, 3.28 to go. Ong ahead of the pack, all the way. Gets that shot plus the foul. Valenzuela gets called for that foul. Great play para kay Ong. Realizing everybody was in the front court. Just running down ahead of everybody. Gets that basketball just in time to put it up and get fouled by Jade Valenzuela. Big play para sa Lady Sailors. Completes the three-point play. Balik sa 12. Ang kalamangan ngayon ng Lady Sailors. Raja gets it to Valenzuela. Fortaleza using the double screen to Gandalia. Gandalia, floater. That goes in for Ang Gandalia. Almost a steal. Ong loses it. We'll stay with the Lady Sailors. And we have a timeout called on the floor. This was the floater by Gandalia. Puts it up. The back is open. Para and Gandalia will be back to score 64 to 54. Time remaining is 
after the ball game as you see the Lady Spartans being led so far by Kat Araha. Kat Araha, of course, the consistent leader para sa Lady Spartans. Doing a bit of everything dito sa larong ito. Even though she's small in stature, getting to those rebounds was getting her teammates involved with beautiful assists like this one. As Kat Araha trying her best to lead this team to a comeback as they're down by 10 points, 54 to 64 dito sa ating uh, fourth quarter. 6 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists para Kat Araha. Flirting with a triple-double in this game. Bongo stops on a dime, gets it to Borja. Borja to Mendoza. Mendoza gets blocked. Ball will go to the Lady Spartans. Fortaleza attacks the double team. Gets it to Gandalia. Valenzuela. Not a lot of time left for the Spartans to put up some offense. Gandalia forcing the issue. Muntik pang mashoot. Pero puputa siya sa free throw line. Gandalia in and out on that free throw. Dalia needs to make these shots. Misses both, gets the offensive rebound. Montalesa attacks baseline, gets it a go. Foul by the Lady Spartans. Cancho gets called for a foul on Arai. Sailors trying to use as much time as they can. They're in control of this game. Mendoza inside. Mendoza gets the ball stolen away by Araha. Araha too fast. Can't get control of the basketball. Gandalia. And these last two minutes brought to you by Converge. Exciting finish here in the WNBL. Fortaleza to Gandalia. Valenzuela. Crossover. Puts it up. Gets blocked. Rebound. Mapupunta kay Fortaleza. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Fortaleza, nabitaon pa nga. Three seconds left. Valenzuela has to put it up. Valenzuela hits the rim. Arayi with the rebound. Mendoza. Tonko. Uses some time. Back to Ong. Tonko. Ong. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Arayi from the outside. No. Rebound goes to Hortaleza. Battle for the loose ball. Where is it going? Oh, they say it's Spartans basketball. Lots of time used by the Sailors there. If you're uh, the Sailors, you would be happy with what happened there. The Lady Spartans couldn't get any uh, stops or get the ball back. So the ball was live and a lot of time was wasted. The referees are checking now where the ball will go. Off of this replay, as it's the last two minutes of this ball game, at uh, alam natin pa in review ang ating mga uh, replay, ang ating mga play dito sa last two minutes. Spartans basketball, ito yon. Tapi ka ng bola. Mendoza comes in the last minute, taps that ball away. So it looks like it's gonna go to Spartans away as the Lady Spartans use one of their timeouts here as uh, they are down by 8 points with 106 remaining in this ball game magbabalik po tayo or score is 64 to 56 
back to the ball game as we see our NBL matchup up next here the President's Cup, Narvaca and Panthers against the Paranaque Aces. That's coming up this act. We'll get the ball back as they call their own timeout. The we'll talk things over. Our score is 64 still to 56. Back to the ball game, 64-56 ang ating score. Ball na Lady Sailors after that big turnover mula sa Lady Spartans. Jovi Borja, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks. Really showing her presence down low. Aray ang magpapasok ng bola para sa Lady Sailors. Gets it down. Borja, no. Rebound by Gandalia. Battle for the loose ball. A foul is called on the Lady Sailors. Spartans are still not shooting the basketball. First foul lang yan sa last two minutes and the fifth total foul. This is a fourth quarter para sa Lady Sailors. So the Lady Spartans will still need to get some points the old way. Dito sa ating fourth quarter. Hoteleza, Buebuelo, Gandalia. Inside to Cancho. Cancho almost loses it. Layup doesn't go for Cancho. Aray with the rebound. Lady Sailors, hinahawakan na lang. Ong has it. Gets it to Mendoza. Mendoza all alone, all the way. Again, as they're up by 10 with 20 seconds remaining dito sa ating fourth quarter. Tonko, mabibitawan pa ang bola. Loose ball will end up at the hands of Ong. Ong just passes it to no one. But again, too little, too late para sa Lady Spartans. And this game will end up as a win. For the Lady Sailors, not a pick bola, but again, we're just waiting for the time to run out. 9.5 seconds remaining, 66 56. As the Lady Sailors show up in dominant fashion here to put them us up, themselves back in the winning column. To go up 3 to 2 in our conference so far. As the Spartans again come up a bit short in another game as they're. Gonna go down 0 and 5 dito sa ating season ng WNBL. Simula na po ng ating second round at wala pa rin pagkapanalo ang uh, Lady Spartan. So again, try again next time na naman tayo para sa Lady Spartan. So the Lady Sailors trying to add to their lead. Ong misses on that one. One second remaining at dyan po nagtatapos sa ating laro. As the Lady Sailors win this one comfortably. Sixty-six to fifty-six. Manami tayo pag-usapan. We'll be talking to our best player of the ball game. But for now, congratulations to the Lady Sailors. Sixty-six to fifty-six in favor of the Lady Spartans.
And here we go back to the ball game. Let's finish this up. Lady Sailors Panalo contra Lady Spartans 66 to 56. At kasama natin uh, Ruberg, best player of the ball game, and uh, really just a dominating uh, performance. Mula kay Tonko, 21 points, five rebounds, uh, five assists, two rebounds in this ball game, leading to that comeback win uh, for the Lady Sailors. At kasama po natin ang ating uh, Ruberg, best player of the ball game. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. At uh, ano Alam ko no first quarter, lumamang sila ng 13 points sa inyo. Uh, Maris, ano yung sinabi ni coach sa inyo kaya kayo nakahabol in that second quarter? Um, sinabi lang sa amin ng coach namin, defense na kami at saka gagawin namin yung offense namin, yung mga plays po namin. At alam natin ngayon, 3 and 2 na kayo sa season. Ano ba yung, uh, uh, ano yung message sa inyo ni coach ngayong na nanalo kayo at meron na kayong momentum dito sa second round? Um... One one game up the time lang daw po. Uh, next game namin, peperahin namin, tapos next game na naman. Basta one game at, game at the time lang po. Ayan, thank you and congratulations sa, sa atin uh, best player of the ball game. Marie, meron ka bang babatiin? Yes po. Sa poik po namin, Sir Mordado, Sir. Thank you, Sir. And sa go for gold Sir Jeremy Go. Thank you. At saka kay Sir Trinidad. Thank you, Sir. At saka kay Ma'am Sayas po. Thank you, Ma'am. Tsaka kay Trixie Antikera po. <laughs> Ayan, thank you to our best friend ball game, Maris Tonko. Ako po si Andrea Tonko, WNBL, ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. Ayan, congratulations ulit sa uh, Go for Gold Philippine Navy Lady Sailors, ang ating uh, winner sa ating uh, WNBL matchup sa uh, hapon na ito. At tingnan natin ang ating mga highlights sa uh, larong ito as uh, the Philippine Navy Lady Sailors go up 3-2 to two no first quarter nga. Pinag-uusapan namin niya kanina. Uh, the Lady Spartans were total control, uh, in total control of that first quarter as they were up by 13 points early on led by Ann Gandalia and this big 3 by Jolina Go. Again, adding to that total 19-8 to eight after that first quarter. And in that second quarter, it was just the Lady Sailors just taking control of this ball game in that quarter as they just led it 21 to 5 at one point they had that big run in that uh, second quarter to give uh, them a lead at halftime 32 to 29 but it was a close game still uh, the entire way pero again it was just a bit too much lady sailors the entire way as they just dominated this ball game inside uh, using their bigger size while Gandalia trying her best to uh, keep their team or her team in this ball game but it was just too much uh, Maris Andrea Tonko in that third quarter to push that team back up to five but in the fourth quarter again more of the same this was a beautiful layup mula kay uh, Ong and again Borja a lot of contributors para sa um, para sa Lady Sailors to give them this 10 point victory but again Maris Andrea Tonko leading the way para sa kanila 66 to 56 po ang ating final score sa ating uh, women's national basketball league matchup ngayong hapon na ito and thank you guys for joining us for another afternoon of great women's basketball action pero up next ating uh, mga NBL players ready na po NBL season 2022 President's Cup Narvacan Panthers against the Paranaque Aces dito lang yan sa NBL magbabalik po tayo thank you for joining us